hello everyone welcome back uh, today I'm going to talk about the second ward of 133 um, and basically that is the guard where you're basically holding the sword up here okay it, it's somewhere in this area there can be some variation um, I tend to hold it right about here with the side of my head um, and the thing I like about this particular ward is that you know the sword is as far enough back that I can basically you know generate some power because I've got some 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 room to in it you know to, to move the sword and, and generate some power now obviously if I held the sword back here uh, I would have even more you know even more room the problem is if I start from back here the my opponent can see the blade moving because now the sword's traveling a greater distance so from the second ward over here it's a very quick uh, strike where the sword's not traveling a whole lot of distance um, and yet it's traveling enough distance so that it uh, you know it, you know it has some power behind it uh, and the other great thing about this ward is that you can pretty easily get to all four quadrants you know I can easily attack that quadrant attack that quadrant attack that quadrant and with the buckler I can easily come around and attack that quadrant over there okay so we have a lot of flexibility with this uh, with this particular guard so uh, that's the second um, ward of I-33 I use this a lot with the full size shield um, put this down. with a shield like this you know basically I end up in an A frame basically where you can see basically an A, uh, uh, an a you know form between the shield edge here and the sword um, and I'll typically bring the, the blade just a little bit over to you know to, to form that corner over here you know that'll protect me against a, a shield uh, a shadow how that comes over the top um, so again from here I'm in an easy position to attack at least three of the quadrants okay getting down to that to that quadrant over there is a little bit more tricky um, usually in order for me to hit that quadrant uh, I have to work through the first one so I'll strike there bring the sword down and then you know I'll come at that quadrant out of the uh, the first one okay so from, from with the large shield I've got good access to all uh, to the three quadrants okay and I have a good solid defense over here um, with the you know with the, the sword and the shield edge forming an a frame okay so that's our second ward if I'm using a, uh, a like a type X sword which has uh, you know has has a little bit more blade weight on it um, this ward can be a little difficult to use uh, usually I'll, I'll transition to a guard further back over here we'll cover that uh, later on but uh, if you guys got any uh, questions comments any counter videos I'd love to see them um, uh, you know if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed subscribe I'll see you guys next time